people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot with principal I'm your host shine in the view of uh, recent data that we have uh, received in gold and silver we have seen the prices push all upward so I feel there's a need to update the uh, forecast that we have done on uh, my channel so in this video you're going to look at it gold and silver both and I'm trying to uh, well th th the forecast is almost in front of you for gold and we're going to discuss it why I'm thinking as it is let's have a look first of all and uh, there's no nothing major uh, changes apart from uh, the the path price is going to take we are expecting the prices to go over here and complete a bo bottom right over here next year somewhere around um, this is uh, July or August all right so I have um, said it so many times already that we are expecting a bearish market in gold and silver uh, however uh, the recent data that we have received and the price movement that we have received is um, actually pushing us to see that uh, we have to change all the, the direction seems remains same it is bearish so we have to look for the alternate labeling and that includes that means that prices have actually gone into a distribution phase now all right so there's a huge chance that we are actually going to complete this uh, this pattern before we actually crash the one downward so in this kind of pattern this is a unique pattern we have seen it uh, time and again in history uh, here we can see that there's this is basically a simple L a five wave sorry three wave structure where we have a first leg is an A which is a zigzag a five wave structure then we have a distribution or accumulation and then we have a sharper move which is further uh, subdivided into five sections right over here so we have wave one and two and three and four and five so we have wave A over here wave B over here and wave C over here so in um, as I said that we can see that the prices have gone much deeper they haven't been able to cross the top yet in case uh, it does cross in that case it becomes a completely different structure and that becomes an A right over here a B right over here and a C in this case we cannot call it a uh, uh, zigzag but we will call it an expanded flat I personally call it call it an elongated elongated flat where we, wave C is much larger uh, in comparison to wave A and then we can see that uh, there's it wave B spends a lot of time and there's a possibility of creating a new high beyond the previous structure as well beyond the previous top the main important thing is that the correction itself is not done from the top if since uh, we have uh, redone the labeling of it so we'll have to look at the previous structure as a complete five wave structure as well so if this is in no view we are we were looking for a larger structure right over here so I know if you haven't seen my previous content is a lot coming together right now and you're thinking what the guy is talking about so just give it a time in my previous analysis you were expecting this as okay we have seen a, a three wave structure all right and you're expecting okay we have seen a three wave structure heading somewhere around over, over here completing the three wave structure and then you're expecting a, a five wave structure being wave one and two right over here we had two and then we're going three four and five all right so that will make that was making it as expanded flat um, with wave which is A over here and wave B over here and we have five wave structure so a three wave structure a three wave structure and a five wave structure so right now we can see the way prices are acting right now it has spent already a lot much time uh, for um, a distribution although the pattern still went up the but we didn't create a new top so I'm still considering this as a distribution as far as the accumulation distribution pattern is concerned so that's why I'm thinking that we haven't completed the uh, Elliott wave analysis is not the only study that we have on technical analysis we have different explanations as well so I am expecting a deeper move from some of the different explanation that we have of the market uh, and then we are looking at the prices and that gives me an idea that we haven't d done the completion of this structure because the price has gone way deeper uh, we were expecting initially to stay in this range but the price has gone way deeper now it gives us a hint that the structure that actually this started from over here is yet not complete and it's gonna spend a lot of time before it actually completes and in these kind of structures we have once the structure is complete we have seen massive massive uh, movement on the downside so we can have a look at give an idea okay so let's have a look on a smaller time frame on a daily time frame see what I mean talking about so this let's have a look at this structure now okay 
as I said, there is a possibility that we can actually create a new high. If in that case, this would become wave A and this would become wave B. And I'm going to explain this how it becomes wave B. We are going to, and then the last structure becomes a five-wave structure. Once again, the important point is that the bearish market in gold is yet not over. All right, we have. Uh, one whole year right not one whole year we are right now in November so we have easily uh, seven to eight months of uh, completion of the bear market so then in that case we can see that we already have seen three refusal from the top right over here in this region this was the third refusal and then we have one refusal back and then we have another refusal way back about seven eight years ago so we have to understand that this area is absolutely important we can uh, right now it looks to me that we are very close to the completion of the structure we can however uh, keep the prices push a bit back okay so let's have a look what's happening right now on a smaller time frame so we can explain so that we can explain this structure so there's a structure in Elliott wave analysis called the double three structure um, in which we have wave A right over here as a flat right correction we are considering this top as part of the completion wave as well so I'm still going on with wave A wave B and wave C right over here so an expanded flat in that the next thing is that I'm looking for this to be a zigzag pattern and the important point here is that we are looking at the extreme of the structure over here and then the extreme the other extreme is right over here and in that case the last section is also expanded to be a flat correction this could in turn easily be a zigzag correction that would push the prices over here and we won't see when pr uh, we won't see prices going deep that much okay but this is highly likely that we are going to see this structure uh, but we'll keep an eye on the, on the the prices as we go along once that structure is complete that would complete a three wave structure which is an expanded flat a zigzag correction as w uh, as wave x and an ex and another flat correction as wave y so it looks to me that we are in quite a wide range and it's going to be there for a while okay and then once that range is complete a uh, last about i think three to four months are going to go crazy so from l march uh, I would say March next year uh, or maybe April next year we are going to see very sharp movement on the downwards and that would actually complete the structure as I said that once this structure is complete we look at the previous labeling as well but right now I do understand that the structure is yet not complete and the whole structure is yet not complete we have a lot to go and I do not believe that we have entered into the uh, bullish market so once again be wary of the 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 move that we have ahead the exact path I'm um, I'm working a lot on the charts and um, because we do not bring volume uh, into our analysis there is no particular uh, study that actually brings uh, the whole study like Elliott wave analysis only uses um, price and time structures right similarly W D Gan what he studied he only he mainly focuses on time structures um, but we we do not have uh, any studies that also brings in volume I believe in the future if we can uh, come uh, can have, have a, a more uh, I would say complete study that would also bring uh, price time and volume and try to create a theory that would be a much better idea I think but for now I think that we have not completed the structure I'm expecting huge uh, swings to happen and once the distribution phase is complete we are expecting for the prices to move sharply downside and there is no sign of bullish market yet now I do understand that the uh, on international level it seems like uh, there we're gonna fly through if the prices go above that area once again we are still considering this as the structure that's going on yet now and it's not completed so let's have a look at uh, silver and silver is going also a similar kind of view right over here so let me show you what I was thinking I was maybe there is some something for you to see okay okay if it makes sense to you guys I mean um, pay attention if it does not make sense don't worry about it um, what I was expecting that we are going to see uh, an ending diagonal and that ending diagonal this this line is is one part and this line the whole 
along along with the dark blue there's th this line going on this one yeah so I'm expecting that you are seeing an ending diagonal uh, starting from there and then ending diagonal is an expanding ending diagonal it's not a converging one it's not um, in, in fact it's a diverging one all right where the price with that we can see that it's expanding on the end point it's not converging um, and we can see let me have a look if I can bring the monthly chart so a lot of people are not doing that I was expecting that this pattern that actually we started over here uh, W and then we have X and then we have Y and this whole structure is the reason that we haven't seen um, the prices go uh, in the territory higher so as you guys can see we have kind of a double zigzag pattern and we are also going through a zigzag pattern right over here too so this is a double three structure in which case all the waves are um, that we have are actually zigzags alright so I'm considering that the accumulation is still the distribution on the like millennium degree wise is going on uh, or a hundred year wave is going on which started in 1980 and we are going to complete that in 1920, uh, 2023 almost 45 years of accumulation so this is a huge pattern or wave this is how I'm labeling it if you don't like it that's alright you can actually start from over here and I'm thinking that this channel the outer channel is very important and the center line is also important for silver this is my analysis personalized let's go to get back to the weekly analysis and I'll give you some of the so I believe that we have completed um, wave A right over here and wave B is complete over here which is an expanded flat and I believe that we have uh, one more move downward and, and that will bring prices around 10 ish dollar a lower low as compared to this one right over here that will complete a, a 535 structure so last fifth last wave C being uh, an ending diagonal we seem to have completed wave 1 right over here and wave 2 right over here of the ending diagonal wave 3 is complete which is clearly a zigzag and wave 4 is complete so we are right now expecting wave 5 to be a zigzag pattern and right now we ha although have seen the initial move downward we are still into the distribution phase and then we'll see the larger price movement downward which is going to be uh, surprising a lot of people and then we're going to see this pattern complete the last wave is expected to complete in almost three to four months uh, starting from probably March April next year and then we'll keep the push uh, the prices downward uh, somewhere around July August however the cycle uh, for silver is a bit different silver create a uh, bottom and uh, top uh, just a little before uh, gold does it so we'll keep a close eye on the structure as well given that we can now go ahead and look at the daily time frame so we were looking for the pattern to be completed somewhere over here and then move the prices downward although excuse me although we can see that the structure is yet not complete now given the prices has gone uh, deeper from this point beyond right over here so that would indicate that the price the structure actually started from over here we are considering this as a five wave structure and this is an a b and c an expanded flat and this is a double zigzag which is wave b and this is we are considering although it does not look like a 5 wave structure for reasons we are still considering it as a 5 wave structure so we are 3 wave structures a 3 wave structure and a 5 wave structure that completes a larger expanded flat uh, and I believe that is only W of the larger correction that we have still on so we have uh, before we have a lot of crash toward the uh, price and move toward about ten dollar we have a lot of this zigzag going on um, this seems to be uh, the point in gold and we can actually use this to be uh, our case okay so the most uh, uh, and I'm expecting the na major run to be downward okay when prices come downward we can actually see a head reverse head and shoulder pattern uh, sorry a head and shoulder pattern that would be a left shoulder this we our head prices comes down jumps up again creates another shoulder and then comes down right over here alright so we are expecting kind of behavior like this uh, but in terms of Elliott wave analysis we are considering this to be a zigzag pattern alright and then we are expecting this to be another flat pattern 
there is a possibility that we will only see this deep uh, this pos this top and we will not see a such deeper wave in that case we'll as i said we'll keep an eye on the on the price behavior uh, and we see how the prices move but this is most more likely right now given this price movement all the way down right over here so it's very unlikely for the prices to continue downward there is still a possibility uh, like continue behavior from over here so but there's a still a possibility but it's more likely uh, that prices would stay in this range uh, for next few months and then around I would say March April next year 2024 we should see prices coming downwards to our falling towards ten dollar I was not going to share this analysis honestly this much long-term analysis for gold and silver both uh, given that prices have gone up I uh, wanted to uh, present the uh, the whole idea of where we price are looking at uh, so that gives you a little more uh, peace of mind so let's see how much uh, the price is actually fall over the forecast I'm not bullish on gold and silver uh, yet okay let's have a look at uh, yeah so I'm not bullish on gold and silver yet uh, and I'm still expecting for gold and silver to be bearish first it was expecting we were expecting it to go down from over here but now given the more push down upward gives an indication that we are spending more expected to spend more time in distribution than we initially thought which makes the last part even more dramatic okay so which is this which makes this part even more dramatic and it's just gonna happen let's see how it goes wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye